Today, we're going to be testing out Claude versus ChatGPT 4.0. This is the new model from Claude, which is completely free. And obviously, ChatGPT 4.0 is the latest version of ChatGPT. So we can compare them side by side, run a few tests, see which is the best, and then go from there. Now, the we're going to run multiple different tests, and we're just going to get straight into it. All the prompts that I talk about today, I'm going to share with you as well for free. And... We're going to kick off with this one right here. So this is my new article prompt. So I'll put keyword equals best protein powder. We'll plug this prompt into chat GPT like so. And then we're also going to run it through Claude as well. And just compare side by side which one performs the best. Now, the first thing I would say, right, if you actually look at the content generated by chat GPT, you can see that Claude actually creates the content a lot faster than chat GPT. But the formatting inside ChatGPT, when you read it straight off the AI interface, looks a lot better here versus here where it's created H2 and H3s and all that sort of thing without actually being able to preview the formatting. So which one is faster? I would absolutely say Claude 3.5 Sonnet is much, much faster than ChatGPT 4.0, which is crazy because GPT 4.0 was really fast when it first came out. Now, when we look through the actual content right here, and we compare them side by side. I'm just going to put this into a previewer so it's easier to see. So I've plugged it into a HTML code previewer. This is the content from Claude over here. And then we've got the content from ChatGPT4 over, over here. Now, what you can see when you look at the content itself is that actually chatgpt 4 rows content is better formatted, right? So even though Claude wins on speed, GPT4 rows content feels a lot more human. For example, look at this intro. Struggling to find the best protein powder, you're not alone, whether blah, blah, blah. And then it hooks people in to keep reading, right? With so many options out there, how do you choose the best one? That's kind of like a hook to keep people reading after the first introduction. Both paragraphs are optimized with the keyword, which is best protein powder. But I would say this article I'm much more likely to read versus this one over here, which is just kind of like still a little bit generic and boring. So you can see, for example, with the content, it said searching for the best protein powder can be overwhelming but it's crucial for achieving your fitness objectives. That adds absolutely zero value, mate. Whereas this one right here is actually a lot more interesting in terms of the content. I would say the same with the headline. So if you look at this headline from GPT-40, why finding the best protein powder matters is a lot more interesting than the headline finding the best protein powder for your fitness goals. So in terms of the actual content readability and the humanization, I would say that GPT-40 is winning right now. But one thing I would say here is that in GPT-4, I've actually plugged in my custom humanizer instructions, right? So you can see this right here. If we go to my profile over here, settings, here, customize chat GPT, and then you can see I've got these custom instructions right here. So what I'm actually going to do is take these humanizing instructions, which you can see down here, and we'll plug them into Claude, if we haven't already, let me check. Now, if you actually try and plug that into Claude, I can't see an option to add custom instructions, right? So you would have to copy and paste them in every single time. So if we go to profile right here, it's not in the settings. There's literally no option to add custom instructions. I think there used to be, but, but I can't see the option right now, which is crazy, right? So in terms of what I'm going to use for content, I would still say the chat GPT 4.0 wins. Like the content is way better, way more interesting, way more engaging. And it's way more humanized versus the content from Claude, where I can't even set up custom instructions. The other thing as well, right? If I go into ChatGPT and we say create an image relevant to the content, and then we do the same inside Claude with our article that we previously created, you can actually see that Claude Sonnet refuses to create images. It doesn't have that capability. Whereas, for example, you can see the image created by ChatGPT 4.0. Even though the text is a little bit dodgy, I don't think it's great to include text inside your AI images. You can actually see that the image is generated in seconds. I can download it. It's relevant to the content that I've created previously in the chat. And that was nice and easy. Now, additionally, what you can see inside the chat here is that I can switch between models, right? So I can switch between GPT-40 and I can switch between GPT-4. If you actually go over to Claude right here and we switch to the Opus or GPT Haiku, you can see that actually it switches the chat, it starts a brand new chat. You can't switch it inside the actual existing conversation, which means that you have to start again from scratch to be able to use Claude if you want different models of it. 
Now, these are the things that most people won't tell you, but I just want to be honest, like, Claude 3.5 blew me away when I first started using it. But actually, ChatGPT, if you're generating images or you're creating content, I would say it's still winning. The only thing that Claude has on you when it comes to content is its speed. Now, there are some massive changes inside ChatGPT. So, for example, if we try and use some of my prompts right here, for example, like create an SEO calculator that I can embed on my WordPress website, calculate the cost of SEO, and then calculate the ROI based on that. I'm going to plug that into ChatGPT, and it will generate the code, but you can see that I can't really preview it, right? It's just going to give me the code, and if I'm not an expert at creating code, if I don't have the right plugin set on my website, etc., I can't test it before I embed it to my site unless I actually know what I'm doing with code. Whereas probably for the first time I've ever seen it, Claude, if you go to a new chat right here and just make sure that you have feature preview inside your settings and then artifacts enabled right here. Once you've done that, you can type in this prompt that I'm talking about, create an SEO calculator that I can embed to my WordPress website, calculate the cost of SEO and then calculate the ROI based on that. And what it will do, hopefully, is generate the text so this is generating the code right here, as you can see, and it's pretty amazing how fast it creates it, way faster than your average developer could type. And then you can actually preview the code inside here. So you've got the code in this section, and then you've got the preview right here. So if you're creating tools for your website or calculators for link building assets, or you want to create, say, even a game with AI, then this is easily the best no code tool I've ever seen in my life, right? And it's miles ahead of the market. So when it comes to coding, and creating tools and that sort of thing, I would say that Claude is absolutely winning. And the other cool thing about this is I can go back to my chat and then I can see previous chats from today and then I can just click through to the chat and see all the tools that I've created on the right-hand side right here, right? Which means that I can access everything really quickly inside one chat. I can get back to it really quickly. Whereas inside ChatGPT, it's just going to give me a load of code. I'm going to have to mess around with the JavaScript. When I have to mess around the HTML. If I've never done coding before, then I have no idea what I'm doing. And if this code isn't right, I'm going to have to find that out by embedding it on my website first, testing it, and then going back and forth with ChatGPT and like, you know, crossing my fingers that it actually works. So when it comes to coding, Claude is miles ahead of the market right now. So in terms of speed, Claude is winning. In terms of coding, Claude is winning. But in terms of actually creating content, Chat is way better. And in terms of actually getting it to write in the style that you want, I would still say the ChatGPT is going to save you a lot more time simply because you can insert the custom instructions. Additionally, ChatGPT can generate images, whereas Claude can't, which is pretty crazy when you think about it. Now, if you want to generate images with AI, one thing that's even better, maybe I'll do a video on this in the future, is that you can see you can create an image chat right here. We can generate images using multiple models at the same time with this tool, Corsell.io. So I'm just going to put create an image related to protein powder. And then you can see we've actually got three different images in seconds. And these images are way better than the ones that I previously generated, where it's kind of like a, a more cartoon style image, right? So you can see, for example, if you compare this image versus the one on Cortel, but this one looking a lot more realistic and it's less cartoony, whereas this might look like a generic sort of AI image. Now, what I'm going to do is also test the content creation for social media right here. So I've got this prompt inside my 200 chat GPT prompts document, as you can see right here. I'm going to say write a five part Twitter thread. We're going to compare Claude and chat GPT 4.0 side by side. We'll start a new chat. And then I'll just take one of my old videos with the transcript and see how that performs side by side versus Claude. So there we go. So we've got both. ChatGPT and Claude generating the Twitter thread right here. Now, if we compare the content side by side, I would actually say that when it comes to this content, I don't like the first line here, but the rest of it is pretty nice when it comes to a thread. And then you can see that it's titled each part of the Twitter thread, which is pretty nice. It's labeled it with an emoji. So for example, part one, part two, part three, part four. It's added some relevant emojis. And that looks really easy to read, right? On site, if I pasted that into Twitter. If you look at this one from ChatGPT 4.0, it's not as detailed in terms of the instructions. So I'd say that Claude actually gives more value inside the Twitter thread. And additionally, this is way easier to read than this one over here, where it's not really separated by emojis or anything else. So I would say if I had to guess which one is going to perform better on Twitter, based on what's 
getting me like nearly 300,000 views a week on Twitter, I would say that Claude is probably going to pop off way better than ChatGPT. So it's quite interesting to see that actually for creating content for blogs, Claude is not so good. But for creating social media content, I would say Claude is beating ChatGPT by quite a long way, as you can see right here. Now what I'm going to try is creating a PowerPoint presentation about this topic. And I will say the same to Claude as well. And it's generated the content for each slide, as you can see right here. But Claude stops there. Whereas ChatGPT seems to be generating the actual file, as you can see right here. So it's coding something, it's saving it. We can see the file is ready to go. And then we've got the downloadable presentation right there. Whereas Claude just kind of ends it, right? It doesn't create a downloadable file for us. Now, if we actually click download the presentation, let's see if it works. As you can see, it actually does work right here. It's not designed in any sort of way, but you can actually just do that directly inside the PowerPoint presentation. Overall though, ChatGPT is winning in terms of creating documents and taking the content that you have and then turning it into presentation. Whereas Claude doesn't seem to have the capability for that, right? So ChatGPT can generate images, which Claude can't. He can create presentations, Claude can't do that. The content is better on ChatGPT versus Claude, but Claude is really good for coding tools, previewing them. It's very, very fast, and it seems to generate social media content way better. In fact, I'm thinking about getting my virtual assistant to, to switch to that ASAP. So that is pretty much it. I would say Claude is way better for tools. ChatGPT is way better for content. And it's more dynamic, right? It's going to create not just content for blogs, but also the images for generating documents, downloadable presentations, everything else. I'm going to choose ChatGPT. But if I want to have some fun, you know, creating some tools, creating some games, etc., then Claude is absolutely winning. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get 200 ChatGPT prompts, including all the prompts I've talked about today, plus 68 video tutorials on how to do SEO with AI and some of my best systems, you can get that links in comments and description to my free SEO course, which comes with all the things I've talked about today. And if you want to get everything that I've talked about today personalized to your website, if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session to grow your website and get more leads, traffic and sales with SEO, feel free to book that in and we'll give you a free SEO domination plan. We'll answer any questions you have and you'll discover how to quickly outrun your competitors with link building. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Bye.